Welcome to Cash Your Travel. Today we are going to see about Capilano Suspension Bridge Canada. The Capilano Suspension Bridge is a simple suspension bridge crossing the Capilano River in the district of North Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. The current bridge is 140 meters, 460 feet, long and 70 meters, 230 feet, above the river. It is part of a private facility with an admission fee, and draws over 1.2 million visitors per year. History. The bridge was originally built in 1889, left square bracket 2, by George Grant Mackay a Scottish civil engineer and park commissioner for Vancouver. It was originally made of hemp ropes with a deck of cedar planks, and was replaced with a wire cable bridge in 1903. In 1910 Edward Mahon purchased the Capilano Suspension Bridge. Mac Mac Eachran purchased the bridge from Mahon in 1935, and invited local natives to place their totem poles in the park, adding a native theme. In 1945, he sold the bridge to Henry Orbano. The bridge was completely rebuilt in 1956. The park was sold to Nancy Stubbard, the current owner, in 1983. Annual attendance increased, and in May 2004, Treetops Adventures was opened, consisting of seven-foot bridges suspended between old-growth Dalglass fir trees on the west side of the canyon forming a walkway up to 30 meters, 98 feet, above the forest floor. Cliff Walk. Capilano Suspension Bridge. In June 2011, a new attraction called Cliff Walk was added to the park. Incidents. In September 1999, a woman dropped her 18-month-old child with Down syndrome off the bridge. She claimed she stumbled accidentally and the child slipped from her grasp. The child was not seriously injured. The woman lost legal custody of her child to the child's father as a result of the incident. The woman took legal action against the owner of the bridge, her ex-husband and the Federal Department of Justice. The case against the owner of the bridge was settled in 2004. In 2006, or 300 year old, 46 ton Dow glass fir tree toppled during a heavy snowstorm. 9. The tree fell across the western end of the bridge. Park officials closed the bridge temporarily, while repairs were performed. On June 6, 2010, a teenage tourist on a class trip from California climbed over a railing and fell more than 30 meters, 98 feet from a fenced-off viewing platform near the bridge. By the time rescue workers came to his aid, the victim was dead. The official RCMP finding was that the teen was under the influence of LSD at the time of the incident. On June 2, 2012, a 30-year-old tourist from Ontario died after falling near the bridge. Police say the victim was hiking through trails near the popular attraction when he climbed over a railing and fell to the riverbed below. Popular culture. The bridge has been featured as a setting in episodes of several television series, including MacJava, Sliders, The Crow, Stairway to Heaven, and Psych. In 1974, social psychologists Donald Dutton and Arthur Aaron conducted a well-known experiment on the bridge. Men approached by a female researcher on the bridge were more likely to call her later than men approached on a more solid bridge across the river. Dutton and Darren argued that this supported the theory that the men were misattributing the arousal caused by fear to sexual attraction toward the woman. Point this research supported Stanley Shachter's two-factor theory of emotion. Thank you.